In this Adobe Captivate 2017 quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can have a little more control of the wrap points in your fluid boxes. One of the things I noticed early on when playing around with Adobe Captivate 2017 was that I could set a wrap point for my parent level fluid box. In other words, the whole screen. And you could set it anywhere between 50% right up to 100% depending on the desired effect that you wanted to have. The problem that I noticed though, was that you couldn't set individual wrap points for the various different child level fluid boxes. You saw here, of course, that the parent level had that setting for you, but any of the individual child level fluid boxes didn't give you the same such control. Presumably, all of the child level fluid boxes would inherit whatever it was you set at the parent level. Now, I did find this control, and this will help you out if you wanted to set your own individual wrap points for each of your fluid boxes. If you go into your Preferences panel by clicking the Edit drop-down menu and going down to Preferences, Shift F8 alternatively, and that's going to bring up the Preferences window. You can select the Defaults category, and down at the bottom, there's a checkbox for Enable Wrap Point. If it isn't already checked off for you, check it off now. Click on OK, and that will return you back to your stage. And now what we can do is we can select one of our child level fluid boxes and have our own individual settings for those wrap points. So let's take a look at what the effects are. Now this particular project here, this middle fluid box has four different objects. And of course I want them to wrap at certain points. I've chosen symmetrical, but you could just as easily choose wrap to next row. Um, and we've got this set for, let's try 100% first and see what the effects are. Let's do a preview. So right now, these, uh, these four circles are taking up pretty much all of that center fluid box. Let's see what happens when we use the slider control. So almost immediately, in other words, at 100%, as soon as I drop even the smallest fraction below 100%, it's going to change and, and drop the two balls, of course, because I've chose symmetrical. It's going to keep the layout symmetrical at all times. And of course, at a certain point, it will start shrinking down to a single row. And that gives me pretty much the results I'm expecting. Let's see what happens when we choose a different wrap point. Let's try 60% and see what the results are. We'll do a preview of the project. So my guess is that we'll get a little bit of a zoom in effect or a, a shrinking effect. And once we get to that point where 60% kicks in, we'll probably drop the two second last ball, second, the last two balls down to the lower level. So depending on the effect that you want to have, you can see that you get very predictable results, but different predictable results than if it was 100% across the board. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.